All right, we are live. So hello, everyone. Uh, today we're going to be demoing a feature we've been working on called GG Resources. Um, and um, right off the bat, there's, uh, there's two different components to this feature. Um, there are what we kind of think of as service-oriented portions of the feature, um, so interacting with uh, charms that are deployed into your your model. Um, and then there are uh, a portion of the feature that are geared more towards the charm store. Um, we're just going to be talking about these service-oriented uh, aspects of this feature today. Um, the charm store stuff will come later, and we'll be demoing that you know, as we, as we complete it. Um, so just one more little quick intro thing before we get going here. Um, we're happy to announce that this will, everything you see today will be landing in uh, beta 1, uh, 2.0 2 beta 1, which will be released approximately on February 18th. So you'll be able to grab that and play around with it and get all the good stuff that we're, we're going to be talking about today. Uh, so having said that, um, Eric is going to be walking through a little uh, demo script here to show out all the new goodness, and we'll get started. So Eric, would you mind sharing your screen? Yep. Yep. Be just a, just sec. a sec. All right. Okay. All so right. Here we here we go. Um, we have a LuxD environment or LuxD um, controller set up. And we're going to just show what we got. Basically, nothing on there right now. So then we, um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to show the uh, the different files that we're going to be using in the charm that we're using for this demo. So right here we have uh, our different hooks and the charm metadata. I'll scroll back up a little so you can see that. So metadata.yaml has a new section called resources with each resource specified and uh, the information you see here as part of that. So uh, there's nothing too special about it. Just you can see that we have three resources here. And so we'll go on down to uh, you see this in the install hook. What we're going to be doing is calling resource get, which charmers can use in their hooks to get a resource. In the case of the install hook, we're going to be getting the install resource resource. And what that means is that the resource will be pulled down from the controller to the uh, where that unit is. And it will be stored in a particular place. And the path to that file that got downloaded from the controller will be printed out by resource get. So we capture that and we stick it in that res path. And then all we're going to be doing with that information is we're going to be um, setting that to status in uh, on the controller so that we can really easily just see what happened when we called resource get. And the update status hook, which we see here, is basically the same thing. In this case, we'll be looking at upload resource. So it just gives us the opportunity to um, monitor what happens with these two different resources and the way that we're going to be treating them. Now, um, also, there's a data file. We're just using the same data file for the whole thing, which is fine. But uh, in normal use, there'd be a little more to it. You know, you'd probably have more uh, useful data. So anyway, we'll be looking for that particular data output when resource get calls. Um, OK, so at this point, we're going to run the deploy. And once the service is deployed, we'll, uh, 
we'll be able to take a look at resources and everything. And one thing you'll notice here we're running the command so you can see the command that we've just run. One of the key differences here is that we have this tac tac resource option. A tac tac resource allows us to specify at the command line when we deploy a local resource that we want to upload to the controller. So in this case we took uh, this install resource resource and we've upload, uploaded for it the file that's located at that path which is the one that I just showed right up above where it's labeled resource data file. So just, just to clarify for everyone, uh, install resource, that's the name of the resource, right? That's not a special keyword or anything? Exactly. So now uh, the deploy has been issued. Let's just run status real quick and see where we're at with that. Okay. Um, looks like that's ready. So you see a little error message there, but that's that's something else. Well, I'll I'll mention that in a sec. Okay. So uh, we're ready to go. Here we just ran uh, status, which we just saw. Um, so the service came up, and we see that upload resource. So in that re the uh, update status hook, which we've set to run every 10 seconds. Normally it's five minutes, but every 10 seconds, um, it fired and it couldn't find that upload resource resource. So now we're going to take a look at what resources are on there and we'll see how that maps onto that error. Right here, uh, we ran juju list resources for the service name. And what it gave us back was the list of the resources. So we see that install resource was uploaded and it says who uploaded it and it gives the revision. So for uploaded resources the revision is the timestamp. For resources coming out of the charm store it will be the revision, a uh, particular revision number. So we see that store resource and upload resource Neither of those has been uploaded, so it's defaulting to the information from the charm store. Whereas install resource that we uploaded via the deploy command, um, it's showing the information related to when we uploaded it. So this, let's see here. At this point, so we can see where it says uh, upload resource hasn't been uploaded yet. Well, our up, update status hook every 10 seconds or so, it's running that resource get command looking for upload resource. And it hasn't been uploaded yet, so that's why it says it couldn't download it because it's not there yet. And we'll address that in a second by using what we'll demonstrate is the juju push resource command. Um, but here we are, so deploy with tac tac resource. That's the, the key addition here. And so it one nice thing there is that it does it all atomically so that you're guaranteed that the resources that you specify at the command line will be uploaded and available to resource get when the install hook runs. And that's kind of an important thing, because that way, uh, you know, you can be confident that the resource is available and not have to handle the case where it isn't available quite yet when you provide it there at the command line. Okay, so let's move on. What we're doing here is we're just running the um, status history. So we're showing the status history, and it's the same message. Basically, that the update, uh, let's see, yeah, the update status hook um, had issues, but what we do, let's see, we can't see it here. Well, if I had set that to scroll back a little bit farther, we'd see that there were also events for the um, for the install hook, and that that worked properly. So we can look at that in a sec. 
Uh, so me- just to discuss this for just a, a sec here, um, we're kind of taking advantage of the fact that the uh, the uh, poll for status will occur every 10 seconds in our charm um, to kind of do a resource git. Is that right? Yeah, it's it's a, a little uh, change that we made for this demo. Yeah, so it's this is not uh, a requisite for using resources. It's just kind of an easy way to demo how resource Git works. And um, the error message, uh, that's because we haven't provided the uh, the resource for um, the upload resource. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. All right, thanks. Okay, let me see here. So what we should be able to do is... Uh, Okay, so what we're going to do is just flip back over here. I want to show this real quick. Um, if we do Juju status history, um, and we're going to say minus N500, just so we, we capture basically everything, then we're going to... I do that for star say. Maybe pipe that to less. Yeah, well, we're going to just pipe it to, uh, yeah, less will be fine. I was going to, yeah. Okay, so here uh, we have the normal stuff going on, and it's then it runs the install hook, and then we see that our install hook, hook uh, succeeded. The resource get call in the install hook did not fail, and we get the output from running it, both the path and the content of the file at that path. So what we see is that resource get returned the correct path, which is this one, and this is the uh, the path where the charm can go to actually access that file. Then we also um, demonstrate here that the content of that file is correct. It's the content of the file that we uploaded to the controller. So now over here on the unit, we actually have the same file. It got pulled down via resource get to the controller at, into uh, the file at that path. So that's what we're demonstrating here. Okay. So what we'll do now is we'll continue. What we're going to do is we're going to upload the uh, the upload resource resource we're going to upload that same file but you could upload any file you want and then we'll show how now the update status hook is uh, succeeding so we do that we use the push resource command which is the command that's been added to allow you to upload resources to the controller. And when you upload a resource to the controller, uh, it, the Juju will use that resource instead of the one out of the charm store for that resource for that service. Um, okay, and it's a pretty basic here. It follows more or less the same pattern as with deploy. So you give it the name of the resource, whatever the resource name is, in this case, upload resource, equals, and then the path to the file. So that worked, and now we're going to run, um, well, we've given a little bit of sec uh, time, so the update status hook runs every 10 seconds. We're going to, uh, right now, we're going to take a look at that resource. Now we can see that upload resource, whereas before it said the same as store resource, charm store zero, now it demonstrates that we've uploaded it by showing the user that uploaded it along with the timestamp of when it was uploaded. And now we've given enough time that status update status hook should have run a couple times now. So we can run uh, Juju status history. And now we see that instead of that error, now it's showing us the same information as with install, the install hook. 
except this time uh, relative to the upload resource resource. It's giving us the correct path and the correct content for that file. Very so, cool. So now what we're doing, uh, just one more time, we're, uh, we show list resources, you know, what we just talked about. And then here we're going to run it one more time. Uh, Okay, what did I do wrong here? <laughs> oh, Juju. Yeah, that's that's not going to work. So I uh, I forgot to spell out the path here. List resources, uh, tac tac details. So what tac tac details gives you is a more specific breakdown of the uh, resources for all of the units of a service. So while for a given service and resource name, there will be one resource recognized by the controller, at the same time, um, a unit might not have called resource get recently enough to have the correct resource on it. It might have an older resource in that cache on the unit. So what you can do is use list resources tech tech details to show you what resources are out of date or what units are out of date as far as for given resources. So here we can see that they actually line up okay. Um, for unit zero, which is the only unit we have, of course, we have uh, the three resources that we can see up above. If you look at the output just above in list resources, what we have is the same resources listed there, and you can see the revisions. So the expected column there is the same information that's in the revision column up in the normal list resources. But and you so, can imagine, you know, when we get the charm store uh, stuff taken care of. Uh, you know, the expected might be a, a future revision, and the revision column might reflect that it's it hasn't been updated yet. Or likewise, we might have uploaded a resource locally, and but a unit is still using the one out of the charm store. So revision, the revision column could say five, but the expected column would have the timestamp, and so that would demonstrate to us that um, the unit. Resource get hasn't been called yet for that unit and resource name. But once resource get is called for the unit and the resource name, that once that is done, it will automatically update on the controller the fact that it's up to date. And thus, this listing with tech tech details would show the correct information. Uh, that's the uh, end of the, the demo that we've um, prepared to demonstrate. So, uh, Catherine, I'll hand it back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Eric. Uh, and really, uh, thank you very much to Eric and Nate. Uh, they've put in a lot of hard work on this, and I think they did a great job. Um, so, as I said, uh, this will be available in Beta 1, everything you just saw. Um, which is set to be released around February 18th. Um, that that date isn't really uh, public, but um, I guess now it is. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, please reach out on the mailing list, and we'll be happy to you know listen to ideas, comments, questions. Um, and you should be hearing more about this feature as you know work continues and as we get the uh, the charm store stuff rolling um, there's a few other aspects that we didn't didn't demonstrate today that are pretty neat um, so that's that's all I have to say uh, Eric Nate do you want to add anything uh, nope I think this will uh, be a useful feature for members uh, and you know, it'll uh, allow for the ability to um, not have to ship particular resources with the charm itself. 
an embed them into wherever people do it now, but rather uh, separate that and, and make for a, a better workflow for charmers. And, right, and the, softy, the whole fat charms issue. Precisely. Um, I don't know if there was anybody on that that we would take questions for. Um, I'd like to keep this video a little bit shorter, just so it's more digestible. Um, but if you, if anyone's watching and you do have questions, please feel free to reach out uh, to us on the uh, the mailing list or in IRC. Uh, we hang out in Juju Dev uh, on Freenode. All right, Nate, did you want to add anything? Nope, I think um, I think this is a, a great feature that um, is going to be very useful for lots of people, just like basically what Eric said. Okay, uh, well I guess we'll wrap it up there. Uh, thanks for watching, and like I said, reach out to us with any comments, questions, or concerns. See you guys later. <laughs>